Today I'm coming in hot with the honest truth, serving a slice of humble pie, a bitter pill to swallow. Damn, I thought I had more of these. Anyway, today I'm gonna talk about the two main reasons that you may not be selling your paintings. But I know this is a common struggle for us as painters or as artists in general. I pretty often get these messages from people on either TikTok or on Instagram. And what I like to do is I like to go look at their profile and check out their page. And when I do, I almost always see the same two things. But part one of the honest truth is that your artwork just may not be developed enough to generate a lot of buyers. This is okay and very normal, by the way. It's hard to sell paintings. And I say not developed enough, which I'll explain, instead of good enough because art is very subjective. So here's what I mean. When I go check out these profiles, what I typically see is artists that are possibly new, maybe picked it up in the last year. They only paint the same things every time, or they only paint celebrities. And the artwork itself is still maybe in the early stages of an artist, and it's just not quite developed. So as an example, if it's someone who does primarily just paint the sky, or they only paint the ocean, or celebrities, or what have you, what is it that separates you from all of the other people? who paint the sky or paint the ocean or paint celebrities, because there are a lot of them. What is unique about your style or your process in painting any of those things? Because if you don't have something that is clearly developed and clearly stands out amongst all of the other people who paint those same things, then what it's gonna come down to is the quality. So if I'm a buyer, I'm gonna go with the highest quality. If I'm gonna spend my hard earned money on some artwork, it takes time to really master a craft. It takes time to find your artistic style. It takes time to learn and develop and get better as a painter. And what I see a lot of the times is these artists who just clearly haven't put in the time yet for learning and experimentation to really carve out their artistic style or quality. In my first year of painting, I sold over 30 paintings. This wasn't the normal year. It was 2020 and I became completely obsessed. Everything was shut down at the time. So I had the luxury of just painting every single day. I was watching videos on painting every single day. And I really was able to fast track trying to become a better artist in a short period of time. Even with that being said, the first half of the year, I only sold like six or seven paintings. All of the other paintings happened in the second half of the year because shocker, I got better and put in the work so that I could grow and develop as an artist. Another thing is it takes time for creative breakthroughs to happen. It took me a year and a half to to switch from acrylic paint, which is what I started with, to oil paint. And that decision alone changed my art forever. But I wouldn't have gotten to that point if I wasn't constantly painting, learning, developing, being curious, trying things. If I didn't put in the hours towards the craft, then I maybe would never have even gotten to that point. So the number one thing that every artist should be focused on is the craft itself, becoming a better painter or whatever the medium is, developing the quality of the artwork and finding their artistic identity. Do that at a high level, then the chances of you finding buyers is gonna dramatically increase. The second thing that I always notice when visiting these pages is there is a strong lack of presentation of both the art and the artist. So for starters, their profile typically does not have a website or any info in their bio about how to purchase things from them, does not mention much about them as an artist, does not mention if their commissions are open or closed, does not highlight any of their stories of past artwork, process, artwork that's sold. There's no clear indication that this person is a serious artist or takes themselves so seriously as an artist. So why would an art buyer? And again, you don't need any of these things. You can be successful without them, but these things will all dramatically increase your validation to make you look like a more serious artist and that's going to increase your odds of people maybe buying something from you next when i start scrolling down i usually see the same thing they don't post often you being active shows that you're serious about your art that should be obvious especially nowadays you need to post relatively often next the feed will usually be a mix of art and then a bunch of other non-art related things. Now, this doesn't have to be the only thing that you post about, but if half or less than half of what you post is artwork and the rest of it is just random stuff or food or trips or what have you, it's gonna make it look like you just paint for fun or it's just some kind of side hobby. Again, you have to think from the buyer's perspective. They are gonna be more interested in an artist who is very serious about their art or that's kind of their primary thing as opposed to somebody that's maybe doing it as like a side hustle. Other things that I see that are pretty common is they only post pictures of the finished product. Now that may seem like an obvious thing. Oh, I should post the finished product and you should. But first and foremost, video is king now. So if you're only posting photos of these paintings, you are doing yourself a disservice. 80% of what you're posting should probably be video. 
That's just the lay of the land. Don't shoot the messenger. And you need to start storytelling. You need to show the process of the painting. Talk about the idea of the painting. Talk about who you are as an artist. Talk about how you got into art. All of this story and everything is so, so important nowadays that you will literally have people buying from you because they love who you are as an artist. I made a rant on TikTok about people like Banksy and these other people who the art itself is, you know, relatively basic, but the story behind them, the marketing, kind of the, the story of who they are as an artist and what they're about. That's what really pushes that stuff. That's what sells them. That stuff can't be ignored. I kid you not, my most recent painting that just sold, the person that messaged me to inquire about it, first thing that they said was that they loved my artist statement and my summary about who I was and what the painting was about. That's what drew them to it. If that doesn't tell you that people aren't invested in the stories of the artists and all those things, then I don't, I don't know what does. I'll make a video about that, by the way, once I've given it to the person. I haven't delivered the painting yet. At the end of the day, your presentation of the art and who you are as an artist as well are a close second to the actual paintings because they want to know who they're buying from. They want to know the story. They like to see the process. All this stuff is important. So if you don't do a good job at presenting that to the world, then you're decreasing your chances of finding buyers. A real quick example is you can think about a clothing brand. You get to a clothing brand's page that maybe you got an ad for, you might be interested in, and only half the stuff was on clothing and the other half was on a, a barbecue they went to and, and all this other stuff. There's a good chance that that's gonna make you feel a little less about them. It doesn't seem like they're really serious about the brand or it's just this little side thing. The chances are you may not buy from them just based on that. This is no different. Your brand, your presentation, your marketing, who you are, people are gonna buy into that. And if it looks like it's something you just do for fun on the side, then you're gonna have a hard time selling paintings. Here's what I would recommend if any of this resonates with you. Start doing an audit of yourself every six months or so on the artwork itself and the presentation of your brand slash artwork. Start identifying the things that you think you could be doing better. Maybe you haven't painted something out of your comfort zone in a while. Maybe it's time to try a different medium. Maybe it's time to mix up the subject matter that you usually paint. A lot of famous artists in the past would change something every so many years and kind of reinvent themselves. That's very important to do. Start looking at your presentation of yourself as an artist and decide what needs to be done. You know, do you need a website? Does your page need a facelift? Should you change the kind of scheme and the lighting about how you present the artwork? Go look at a bunch of other popular artists if you stumble on an artist page that's doing really well. If you notice they usually have very clear branding. They use different similar colors on their page. They've got links to all these different things you can go check out from prints to, to this, that, and the other. Go look at those and mimic that. Go steal some ideas from them and, and see kind of the presentation that they have. I'm literally in the process of redoing my website for like the third time right now because I want it to be fresh for the new year. I don't even really sell paintings like that anymore. I only do originals now. I closed my commissions back in 2021 because I wanted to be able to focus more on learning filmmaking stuff and then also just painting original stuff, but I still want to update my website because it's myself, it's my brand. And I want to be able to send people there for things and have it look professional and have it look legitimate. If you do these things and audit yourself regularly, both your artwork and your presentation and branding as an artist will benefit significantly. At the end of the day, just remember that being an artist is hard, but selling artwork is even harder. Shit, I have a bunch of paintings behind you in my studio right now as we speak that I love, that I think were great. That's just how it goes sometimes. They just haven't found the right person or I haven't found a way to really present that in a way that's appealing enough. You know, maybe I can post it on the website in a way that looks better or maybe I, you know, that's just how it goes sometimes. But I know if I continue to develop how I present myself, maybe improving the website, how I can showcase the artwork, then I have a good chance of finding these in new home. And if not, I'll just paint over them, I don't care. So don't feel frustrated or discouraged if you feel like your growth or your audience just isn't quite there yet. But I promise you, if you focus on the quality of the artwork first and then the presentation of your artwork and your brand closely second, that over time, you'll start to see that, that your audience will begin to grow, eyeballs will start coming and you'll start finding more and more buyers for your artwork. And if you still don't, uh, just try pottery or something. I don't know. I'm sorry. This stuff's hard. Anyway, I just wanted to make this video due to messages I've gotten over the last year or two and uh, just wanted to address that. So I'm not super experienced, but I've sold a lot of paintings and I've, I've sold a lot of prints and done different things. And so I'm more than happy to help and offer advice or anything if I can. So if you have any questions about anything that I just mentioned or anything just sort of art related or anything like that in general, just let me know in the comments and